Hello everyone. Uh, in this session, I am going to discuss about cleavage of ethos by HI. So let's discuss this topic. Um, so let me explain you with one example. After that, I'll explain you its detailed mechanism. So now let's take ether R O R dash. Now let's take this ether and in the presence of HI. In the presence of HI, let's say for example, see here the important point is here. Here I minus is at this is strong nucleophile, right? So as we know that strong nucleophile prefers SN2 reaction. But uh, in one case, if we have any uh, possibility of forming tertiary carbocation then in that case we will do according to SN1. I will discuss with few examples further. So now let's write. Now let's say for example this is primary alkyl group and this is secondary alkyl group. As we know that uh, SN2 the reactivity order for this is let me write it here CH3X is greater than primary is greater than secondary is greater than tertiary right for SN2 steric hindrance should be less if steric hindrance should be less then it, the nucleophile attack on that side right so now we we just assume that this is primary and secondary so this nucleophile I minus will attack so let's take so this I minus will attack on this and then destroy it properly. I will explain you the detailed mechanism also. So you can see this video by a 2x speed or 1.75x speed for the time being. So now let's see. This I minus will attack on this. This will be, and you will get the product the Ri plus R dash OH. I hope this is clear. Now let me explain you its mechanism. Now let's see its mechanism. So let's take this. Let's take this exam. CH3, O, CH2, CH3. So now let's take this example first in the presence of HI, right? So here it is H plus and I minus, right? So now this. Oxygen have lone pairs right here. This lone pairs abstract this hydrogen, then we'll get CH3 OH positive and CH2 CH3. After that, this I minus I minus will attack on the less inner side according to SN2. So then we will get CH3I plus CH3 CH2 OH. So I hope up to here it's clear. So now let's see. See, we will do for primary and secondary. We will write the product according to SN2. Means that I minus nucleophile attack on the plus hindered side. See here we have done that only right. So in case of tertiary like if in case of possibility of forming tertiary carbocation then we have to do we have to do according to SN1. So now let me explain you that. So here let me tell you one point here. So we have this compound right. 
CH3 or CH2, CH3. And this compound we have. So, if you break this bond here, then we will get, let me write it as CH3 positive and CH3, CH2OH, right? And one more possibility is that if you break this bond like this, then we will get CH3OH plus CH2 positive CH3. So in case this is primary carbocation only, right? This is primary carbocation. So that's what I am telling. In case of primary or secondary carbocation formation, uh, takes place we need to see which one like we need to write the product according to SN2 so now let me tell you the example for SN1 so now let's take this example CH3 C CH3 CH3 CH3, CH3. Now this carbon is tertiary, right? So now let's take H. So now let's take this H. Here, first this protonation will occur. After that, we write it. The H positive. C let me write it CH3 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 so now let me write two cases here just try to break this bond like this now we'll get this CH3 positive plus CH3 C CH3 CH3 OH right and now here if you break we should break this bond then we will get CH3 OH plus C CH3 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 so here we are getting positive charge and this one is tertiary right tertiary carbocation so in case of formation of tertiary carbocation we need to follow SN1 so as we know that SN1 uh, tertiary is the reactivity order is tertiary is greater than secondary and then primary so via SN1 it will occur so I minus will attack this these are the jet product I plus CH3. I hope this concept is clear for you. If you have any doubt, you can ask me in the comment section. I will try to answer your questions.